Is it still worth learning how to code in 2025, or is AI just going to replace all the programmers out there? In fact, OpenAI announced their recent release of PhD level AI agents. In 2025, we at Meta are gonna have an AI that can effectively be a sort of mid-level engineer that can write code. Terrifying thoughts for software engineers, right? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matthew Mungle and I'm a software engineer at Google and I also create content on basically all the social media pages like Instagram, LinkedIn, and now YouTube. So make sure to subscribe and hit the follow buttons on my other accounts as well. So in a nutshell, yes, AI is sort of replacing programmers, but not exactly. AI is in fact transforming many different industries and software development is not one that it's going to miss. But instead of fearing AI, we need to learn how to use it. In my opinion, AI isn't going to replace the engineers that know how to use AI, but rather it's going to replace engineers that are just steadfast in their own ways. You're not going to lose your job to AI. You're going to lose your job to somebody who uses AI. So I actually looked up some facts about the software engineering growth process. And according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor and Statistics, software engineering jobs are actually projected to grow by 17% from 2023 to 2033. But the average growth of the other industries are only around 4%. This means that tech companies still need their software developers and software engineers to build and maintain the code base. Now to really understand where and how we are evolving, let's take a step back into the history. In the early, early days of computing, programmers actually wrote in machine learning code. They used to write long strings of ones and zeros in order for the machine to understand what they were saying. It obviously required meticulous attention to detail. But then came compilers and interpreters, which allowed developers to write in human readable code like C, C++, Java, etc. Now did these tools actually replace programmers or developers? No, maybe a few, but not really. These tools just made programming more accessible and allowed developers to focus on more complex problems. And now AI is the next step in the evolution. AI can handle meticulous tasks, generate code for us, but ultimately we still need to guide the AI in order to solve the bigger problems. It will make us more efficient, freeing us up to focus on creativity, problem solving, and more innovation. Now, what this means as a software engineer is that you still need to understand data structures and algorithm, programming languages and their intricacies, tools and frameworks, and the software engineering architecture. AI is just merely going to assist you, but it's not going to replace your deep technical knowledge. It's just a tool, and just like any other tool, its effectiveness actually relies on the person using the tool. So in the future, we're actually going to spend less time writing the code itself, but more time on higher level responsibilities. These include designing and architecturing a system, collaborating and understanding what the user actually wants, and ensuring the quality and security of the AI generated code. Think of it like architecture. Architects don't actually create the entire blueprint by hand anymore, but they still need to understand the principles of designing and construction. Similarly, software engineers need to guide the AI review it, and refine its output. So now let's answer the question of whether it's still worth learning how to code. I think if you're actually passionate about technology, it's 100% still worth it. Coding is the foundation of software development, and learning how to code is essentially going to open so many doors for you. It's going to help you build things from scratch, collaborate effectively using AI, and allow you to adapt very quickly to the evolving changes that tech is going through right now. Remember that coding is just one part of a software engineer's job. Most of our time is actually spent communicating with different teams, understanding what the user wants, and problem solving. These are things AI just can't replace. So basically the bottom line is AI is not a threat, but it's an opportunity given to you. It's a chance for you to become a more productive, creative, and impactful engineer. But in order to seize this opportunity, you do need a strong foundation in coding. The tools that we use will often change, but the need for skilled engineers will always remain. So if you're excited about the idea of building the future with tech, now is your time. Don't let the fear of rapidly changing industry hold you back. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and see you next time.